Hello, welcome to Emma with 17 Lesbians. And it's Monday today. Well, tonight. It's 11 or 9 pm. I usually don't leave making videos until this late, but I guess I had other things to do. And by other things to do, I mean sleeping, eating, going on Tumblr, um, going to the doctors, and sorting out these big ass pile of receipts that my mum. I don't know, she has to do paperwork with them and I need to sort them out and it took an hour, I'm not even kidding or over exaggerating first of all I'd like to start out this video by saying my time got she died look at this Let's see if it focuses probably won't but it says bye bye but I'll press the buttons and look now I have a new egg and now I need to wait for it to hatch I don't even know if you can see it Oh, you can. Can you see the egg? Anyway, this week's topic is lesbian stereotypes. First of all, I'd like to start off by saying any stereotype is stupid, I think. I don't like stereotypes. Um, uh, I don't know why, I just don't, because I don't like separating people into like these little groups, like in Mean Girls, that movie. Um how they have different tables for every stereotype. I think that's ad. I think that's um insulting, I guess. But uh yeah, so a lot of the common lesbian stereotypes are, you know, as previously mentioned by other people on this channel, um girls who have been abused are lesbians. No, no, that only happens to some people. It doesn't mean that everyone, every woman or girl who's abused is going to be a lesbian. Um, a common one that my mum told me is that um, ex-married women who are married to men who had a bad marriage turn to girls. All of them do. No, not all of them don't. Some of them go and have, I don't know, like a billion one night stands with a billion different men. You know, people deal with things differently. You can't just put them into this box and deny everything else. That that was a Donnie Darko reference right there. <laughs> um, another one, one of the most common ones which seems to go around on Tumblr is um, girls who wear plaid shirts are lesbians. I don't know. I don't know how this came about. Girls who like cats are lesbians. They are. Girls who like Tegan and Sarah are lesbians. Girls who like the L word are lesbians. Maybe that one's a bit self-explanatory. But not every girl. I know girls who have watched L words and they're not a lesbian. Um, girls with short hair. And when I mean short, I mean not this short, but like Kia, Chris. Madeline, that, that sort of short. Girls who have short hair like that must be lesbians. No. Girls who play lacrosse are lesbians. No, not all of them. Why is my laptop starting up? I didn't even press a button. It's retarded. Uh, what else is there? Um, um, if you're a vegan or vegetarian, you're a lesbian. Not necessarily. You know, normal girls can be vegan or vegetarian. I should, I don't know. Anyone can be a vegetarian vegan without having to be gay. Um, I don't think I'd fit into any lesbian stereotype because, one, I prefer dogs to cats. And I'm not going to apologise for that because I've never had a cat. I've only like been friends with next door's cat. <laughs> That's sad. I was four, okay? Don't judge. Um, and I have a dog. I've always had dogs in my family. And I think they're beautiful as well. I prefer rats to cats. That rhymed. Unintentional. Genius. Um, yeah. Two. I don't own a single played thing. I'm sorry. I don't really like 
plaid shirts at all. I know they remind me of uh, country western Brokeback Mountain sort of guys. And, uh, not into that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm into Jake Gyllenhaal though. He is a good actor and he's not that bad looking. But in a plaid shirt, he is bad looking. Sorry. Um, three. I don't. Um, three. I don't play a sport. I don't play a sport, but I do like exercising for, you know, health benefits. But the best thing I'm good at is bike riding, and I don't think that's a very lesbianish sport. Um, four, I think I'm up to. Four, I do not have short butch hair, but I will be bold on March 15, and I don't know if that makes me more of a lesbian, but I'm doing that for the Leukemia Foundation. And I'm doing that, like, you know, in memory of people. I'm not doing it to, like, look like a fucking lesbian. You know, I can, I can do that, but I don't want to. <laughs> um, five. I have to think of a five now. Oh, yeah, five. Five, five, five. I am not very much of a gamer. I used to be. But, I don't know, a lot of people say that girls who are gamers are either fat and ugly or they're a lesbian, which is completely wrong. You know, I like playing games, but I wouldn't call myself a gamer. I'm good at Call of Duty, I'm very good at Call of Duty, but I don't play it on a daily basis because it gets boring after a while and I get <laughs> I get scared. I get scared in games, okay? Don't judge, man. I'm not brave. I'm like a little, I don't know, innocent, scared, freaking child. Um, and girls who are overweight are lesbians. No. No, they're not. <clears throat> you know, I don't know why people think that. Maybe they think that because girls who are overweight can't get a man. But, you know, gender is just a gender, I guess. And that's not going to matter whether you're fat or skinny. I know sick thin people who, like, won't get a man but, you know, she's not a lesbian. She's a flaming straight person. It's ridiculous. Um, and for some reason lately, a lot of people have been thinking that girls who smoke weed are lesbians. I personally am against drugs and alcohol, but um, not all girls who smoke weed are lesbians. There are a lot of girls in my school who smoke weed, and they're not lesbians. They have sex with a different guy every night. They're not lesbians. Um, thank you for watching my video. <laughs> and I'm sorry that it's not as constructive as Chris's was. Or as funny as Kia's was. But I do my best. Yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a very shy person, actually. So... I don't know if that comes across in my video, but I am. Um, so, thank you for watching. Um, oh yeah, more update. No, an update on my cold thing. We went to the doctor's today and the doctor wants to um, get me to have a blood test to test myself for glandular fever and lethargy and anemia and stuff. I always have something wrong with me. It's weird. Okay, like, I swear, I swear the right side of my body always has something wrong. Like, I have weak ligaments in my shoulder, and they act up all the time. I have, like, I'm pretty sure my right boob is a bit bigger than the left boob. That's a bit of a TMI for you. But TMI Tuesday is not till tomorrow, but this can be TMI Monday. Um, my right knee always gets hurt. And there's nothing right, there's nothing wrong with my right butt cheek as far as I know. But you know, you never know. You never know. You never know. And my right ankle cracks more than usual. And whenever I get mozzie bites or like, um, yeah. And whenever I get mozzie bites or ant bites or whatever, it's always on my right side.